use more airmen to suicide than any other single enemy. Even more than combat. 78 of our brothers and sisters have given up on life this year alone. 78. That's 78 teammates, that's 78 wingmen, that's 78 spouses, that's 78 brothers and sisters and sons and daughters, 78. Who couldn't find a single reason to keep going. That's 28 more than this time last year. If we don't do something, we could lose up to 150, 160 airmen in 2019. We can't let this keep happening. This is our problem. And we have to dedicate ourselves every single day to building strong and healthy airmen supporting and engaging teams and cultures of trust and respect to help keep these airmen hopeful, to give them an opportunity to thrive in this great Air Force. That's why General Goldfein has directed this resilience tactical pause, a break in the daily grind so that we can focus, we can focus on our airmen and their well-being. Now, this is not a one day effort to check a box. This is the beginning of a much needed dialogue between airmen, command teams, helping agencies, and frankly, our entire Air Force. We have to get this thing turned around. This is your day, so make it your own. We won't tell you what to do. We won't tell you how to do it. You know best what your teams need. Use the resources that we've made available to you, but make it personal. Make it about them, all of them. Most importantly, keep this as a primary focus beyond this pause. Make every single airman count every single day. You know, someone right now in your organization is struggling. Someone in your organization is suffering from post-traumatic stress or depression. Someone in your organization feeling hopeless and they may be thinking that suicide is the answer give them better options let's lead them to a better answer